yesterday I made a video about how I had been bullied on YouTube for well over a decade with racist comments. It's really hard to mistake that. Um, and then I said, now I get um, dislike spammed. And one person had a major disagreement with that because not everything is race. But in the same mouthful, they said, yeah, but black people kill white people. So bias shows. Look, your bias is going to show up. Don't say anything. Likewise, why do you have to spam dislike and go and dislike somebody two or three times um, from your different channels? Because I understand how the spam disliking works. Because you disagree with them. Just move the flip on. Um, there are people who think that they should turn the dislikes back on so everybody can see them. <clears throat> and that's an idea. It is. Um, I think at this point in time, because of the way likes and dislikes are being used, that they are no longer useful and that they should all be turned off. And that if someone has something to say, they should go ahead and make the comment because YouTube hides nasty comments from me. Not exactly. I see most of them in my email, but they don't put them on the video. I would rather have someone make a nasty comment where everyone can see it than an invisible dislike. Because then if you really do have an ought with something that I am posting, then I know what that ought is. And if there is some truth in what you're saying, and if what you're saying is not mean-spirited, now I have room for improvement, right? But no, that's not the goal of spam disliking. The spam, the goal of spam disliking is to make you go away. All that said, I am not that person. And I don't want people to think that I am that person. In well over a decade of making videos, I've made three videos that mention race out of a cool thousand. FYI, Miss Andrea, not that person. Um, I surround myself with people of all races. I am from New York, that's how I was raised. And even though I live in Georgia, that's how I keep it. I stay amongst people of all races, which is why white people have to point out to me when I'm being discriminated against because I just let most stuff go over my head. But that whole thing was just disturbing. So, that said, um, this has been a homeschool vlog and this has been a not a homeschool vlog. And now I just kind of want to talk about who I am and the journey that I am on. And that journey is... Um, there's a fire truck coming and I feel like I need to get out of the way. Um, and I'm going to have to cut this video. I just want to take people on the journey that I am on and that journey is um, kind of mapping out the rest of my life everything I've done to this day since I was 26 or 27 and have my kid my first kid has been in service to my children um, I am now 55 I have been married 31 years um, I just downsized from the big house into a high-rise apartment. I am very happy. Um, and my business is education publishing. And um, I run a homeschool program. I'm administrative of a homeschool program. Um, and I kind of want to take people on that journey. A lot of people ask me about what I can do and how they can do what I do. Um, 
and some of that is on my business channel, Cheese Press Publishing. But on this channel, I want to take you through the personal journey of it, um, which is how we got to yesterday. It's all hard work. And um, what I'm at the beginning of right now is building the business YouTube channel. And it didn't take a long time to run into the invisible roadblock, the same invisible roadblock that I ran into when I started this channel back in the year YouTube started, um, was people being mean to me because for whatever reason they want to. Back then it was really clear because they called me a monkey. <laughs> Instead of saying, I disagree with you, you're an idiot, they said, I disagree with you and you're a monkey. Just like that person said, you could be wrong, but black people kill white people. Here we are. So let's not talk about race unless it's absolutely necessary because that's how I'm going to roll. But um, today, I am almost at work. I'm sitting at a train. I'm driving incredibly safely. Um, I have less anxiety when I'm speaking. Um, you notice I'm not really looking at the camera unless I'm sitting still. Um, today, I am a minute from work and I am about to go in and audition um, students for our spring show. Um, we're doing Alice in Wonderland and we're going to turn it into a musical. And the way I teach theater is that it's a collaborative um, event. I have a student director. Um, we have the original Lewis Carroll um, script because he wrote the book and he wrote the play. Um, and um, we're going to make some of the characters rap and some of the characters sing and then kind of have two or three songs in it. So it's gonna be a play with music. And I don't know how it's gonna go because I'm trying to keep my vision out of it so that the students have their vision. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be a fun day. And till next time.